the bizarre, eerie quality that today has taken on as a result of a guilty verdict in the Hunter Biden gun charge trial. The president of the United States, Joe Biden, his dad, has made it clear that he's not going to pardon Hunter Biden. He made those remarks at the D-Day uh, memorial. He was in a conversation, a network uh, interview with him, during which he was asked, will you pardon your son if he's found guilty? He said no. So now that the guilty verdict has been handed down, one has to ask, will Hunter Biden actually get jail time for this? Again, he has been found guilty of checking a box and I don't mean to reduce it to that, to, to saying essentially by checking the box that I uh, am not on drugs and I'm not addicted to drugs uh, as I am buying this weapon. Uh, the uh, first thing that you may be struck by in the United States of guns is that there would be any such question uh, at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've got the money, here are the guns and we don't care. What is it, an AR-15, a handgun, whatever. Here you go. But there is such a question, and there is such a form, and when you lie on it, it is a federal offense. So I remind you, this is not nothing. He could actually do real time for this. We'll talk to David K. Johnston about that likelihood. But back to the first point I was making, which is that his dad has said, hey, I'm not going to pardon the kid. I mean, I say the kid. To Joe Biden, he's a kid, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a child that has struggled with addiction and many American families and many families worldwide know the power of addiction, the um, sadness, the darkness of addiction. And obviously Hunter Biden's life is a, well, it's essentially every example one could likely imagine of how dark it can get when you're addicted to crack cocaine and beyond. Joe Biden is an institutionalist, as we've discussed in many ways in the context of other things. He is loath to do things that in any way undermine the rule of law. But if his son were sentenced to do time, might he then hand down a pardon? And by the way, there's nothing illegal about a pardon. Joe, uh, Joe Biden could hand down a pardon for Hunter on this gun charge, and it would actually be more understandable than Donald Trump handing down a pardon for Steve Bannon, who defrauded followers and those who were donating to a fund to build a wall, donated uh, millions of dollars and defrauded them out of all that money. He was found guilty, and Donald Trump pardoned him. So although... Steve Bannon is like a son to Donald Trump. I got to give you that. But uh, <laughs> I would say one might understand it. Now, I'm not endorsing it one way or the other. I'm just making the point that um, it becomes understandable in the broader context. After Joe is reelected, he should pardon a hunter, says Mike. He um, won't. He says he said two times now he said he wouldn't and that he would accept whatever the the jury's decision was whatever the court came decision came to mm. that's him showing belief in the justice system in the country yeah uh, look i, I want to say something I, I don't mean to be um stirring the pot but uh, i understand how you can have problems with the justice system it doesn't always uh, work fairly um but uh, some of these cases are pretty open and shut and this one seemed as though it was and so um i uh, i think it's a uh this wouldn't be a case, for example, to make some broader point about how unfair the justice system is. I mean, it, it, again, this seemed really open and shut. Really hard position for a parent to be in. You know, they, when you have the power to make something easier for your child or to fix something like that, and you 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 can, but you have to step back and you 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 don't do it. I mean, that's that's just a hell of a decision. I I feel for him. I really do. Right. Well, Kim, I mean, how are you? Well, I'll tell you the thing about this that makes it more difficult is that it happens in the context of a lawless former president who, you know, is serving up pardons like a short order chef to those who are right. involved in over 
overthrowing the government of the United States. I mean, you know, he has really indicated that he's ready to pardon a lot of people who are involved in a coup attempt. I think when you're looking at that, it's in the shadow of all of that, that you have to make decisions of the sort that you're talking about. If it was your son, Kim, do you think you could, I mean, given the circumstance, what would you do? It'd be really hard for me because I find myself <laughs> even now mm. when I when I, I know that I can clear a path for them or I can make their lives better or I can help them in some way, sometimes that's not always the best move. Sometimes it's better to let them figure it out, right? So they become better able to deal with things in life. Well, But, but in a situation like this, no. oh, I, I, God, I can't even tell you because I agree with what he's doing. I agree with that you have to, if you're the president of the United States, you show, you believe in the justice system, you believe in the way we do things. I get that, but that's your child, you know? That's hard, yeah. I can't even tell you. I can't put myself in that position. Well, and, and I would say one thing that distinguishes this situation from perhaps one that you might deal with with your actual children is that Hunter Biden is 54 years old. I mean, the, you know, the idea somehow that you're going to teach him a lesson to show him the right way, uh, that, you know, I feel like that ship has sort of sailed. Um, but I think it's informed by a lot of other things that are associated with your position as president of the United States. It's a very tough spot. I mean, I don't blame you for kind mm -hmm. of passing on the question. Uh, well, any Trumpians, Debbie is asking, will any Trumpians recognize Biden as a man of integrity? No. Probably not, unfortunately. Right-wing media, if you watch right-wing media or listen to right-wing media at all, it is frustrating in the extreme how cherry-picked everything is. And I always say this in relation to the Democrats, you're not going to get credit for some kind of high ground you're taking, where you're roasting your own. Merrick Garland was a perfect example. The Merrick Garland appointment as attorney general uh, was such weak sauce. It was like a make good for him being passed over for Supreme Court justice. And yeah. he slow walked the Jack Smith appointment. We've talked about this ad nauseum, and I won't go into any further, you know, retilling of that soil. But the reality is that Merrick Garland is an abomination. You don't get credit, though, for getting some attorney general in there who goes easy on the competition and really tough on you. The prosecutor who went after Hunter Biden, the special counsel, was appointed by Donald Trump. Do you think if Donald Trump ascends to the presidency, he would somehow keep on a special prosecutor appointed by Joe Biden? No. He's already shown you how he clears the deck of all Democrats and anyone with connections to the last administration. Anything that had even the rough scent of Obama on it was out. Any bill, any executive order that had any scent of Obama ad on it was reversed. My point is simply uh, that the Democrats always think that they're going to get credit somehow for uh, keeping on the special counsel who actually had powers expanded. I'm talking about the one who went after Hunter Biden, had powers expanded under Joe Biden. He permitted that. Okay, so you're essentially you're aiding and clearing the way for the prosecution of your own son. That's who Joe Biden is. That's who this president is. And that's who the Democrats are. They feel like, see, Republicans, look how tough we are on our own as though the democrat the republicans are going to turn around wow democrats you really are to you're right you're right we should all be tough like that on our own you don't get credit for it and it doesn't happen so i'm not suggesting that you should game the system and hand out those pardons the way uh, they handed them out uh, under the uh, biden administration and you can even argue under democratic administrations that the that the, the pardon system is both flawed and sort of without any kind of boundaries. But just on the general point that, and I think Biden feels this way, that somehow I'll keep these people in place. I'm an institutionalist. That's the special counsel appointed by Donald Trump. I'm going to give him full powers to investigate my son, to prosecute my son. That's who Joe Biden was and is. And now you have your son, sir, 
brought to trial, found guilty. It's a pretty much open and shut case. I mean, there's chapter and verse about how addicted he was and what a dark chapter or few chapters the, these were in his life. And he had to relive it in a trial, and now he's found guilty. So I, I, all I'm saying is, Democrats, you don't get credit for being tough on your own. So you face a, a decision. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped. And please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.